What's up, everybody? The debate of these cars is very easy. Does this car self-drive? Right now, it's on something called autopilot. There's two modes, self-drive and autopilot. I just disengaged the autopilot. My car didn't come with full self-driving. When I first got the car, it had a full self-driving trial, which it cost either $99 a month or $8,000 when you first buy the car, depending on which car you have. Some of the cars, or some of the Teslas, I should say, already come equipped with the full self-driving like the Model X does and the Model S Plaid. All the Plaid versions of the car have full self-driving. This car has something called autopilot. So right now, you can see that the cars appear next to me, to the left. When I have autopilot, it's not full self-driving. It does feel like full self-driving, but it's more like an advanced cruise control. As soon as you engage it, it says, please keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times. So when you hear of somebody doing this and letting go, it's very unsafe. Yes, the car will stop. Yes, the car will turn, but it will tell you apply slight grip to the car. Now, when you get full self-driving, it does not do that as much. Also, the roads will appear, meaning you will see the road here, here. You just see the cars. But when it actually goes into full self-driving mode, the trees will appear, a whole bunch of stuff will appear next to it. Right now, it's just catching. It's giving you a little bit of access, giving you the cars next to you, in front of you, and behind you. So you can see that there's a semi there. It's showing you the semi, all the cars. And as you get closer, you will see the light. When it's full self-driving, you can see the lights all the way from over here. You can see the turning lane. As you can see, it's showing the turning lane, but it's not... You can't see the road. It's just, there's no lines in the road you can see. And that's pretty much it. So the debate of do these cars self-drive? Yes, they self-drive. Do I recommend taking your hands off the steering wheel? No. Have I taken my hands off the steering wheel? Yes. I want when I first got the car. See, it's self-driving. I don't have to hold it. It will drive on its own. But if you don't pay attention, there's a camera here that sees that you're not looking at the road and it's saying, hey, apply some slight turning so you can help the car kind of like make sure that you're actually in control of the vehicle so i hope this helps and nobody crashes their car but i'll give you guys the best feature of these cars are not only do you save on gas a lot of people do not know these cars are super fast okay so if you're looking for a vehicle that goes fast you don't even have to get the most expensive version of it which is the performance model you can get the basic tesla like this one it's the basic tesla the only upgrades that this car has is a surround sound it has white leather seats and it has the white pearl um paint which is an extra 1500 other than that everything else comes standard so if you're looking for a car that goes fast this car will be corvettes um some um amg benzes um Hell, not Hellcats, but R RTs, um, anything. A lot of cars will get beat by this car, just this standard one. Now, if you get to the level of the performance in the Plaid, those are the fastest cars in the world. The Tesla Plaid, I think, even beats Lamborghinis. Um, so as far as speed, you can get there. And that's pretty much, this is my year review of the car. I think I've had this one for about a year and a half now. So um, as far as a Tesla owner, do I want to continue to be a Tesla owner? Yes, but I don't want this model. The next model that I would be gaining would either be the Cybertruck, but I haven't driven it yet, or the Model X. The Cybertruck does look cool, but I don't know if I would want that as a daily driver. I think that the Model X is still the futuristic looking car just because the butterfly doors just look super futuristic. But that's all that I have for the video. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Make sure you follow me. This is the first time I vlog about my car and just a quick video that I want to do for you guys under five minutes. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Thank you, friend. I appreciate you for supporting my channel. And I continue to drop videos every week and every day short videos to inspire you guys. Love you. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. And follow me on TikTok. See you guys in the next one. Bye.